Yogi, I have a very pleasant privilege here tonight because here, because in this current issue of Look and their baseball All-America team, you've been selected as the catcher. Here is this Lord Elgin watch, which is really a very classy looking deal, isn't it? It sure is. It? But while you're out here, Yogi, I'd like to, I was asking Sal Magley some baseball questions, some World Series questions. Now, how many times have you faced the... Uh, Brooklyn and World Series games. Well, that is, this is my eighth World Series in the ten years, and this would be our sixth against Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Now, in the uh, in all of those in those series games against Brooklyn, what would you say have been your? Is there such a thing as a one stick out thrill? That you well, remember in the series, I guess when uh, I was the only man to hit the thin shit home run, one of the first, uh -huh. anyhow, in 1947. Who was pitching then? Ralph Branson. For Ralph. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yogi Sal, so I, I asked Sal upstairs, I said, you know, I said, I'd like to ask Yogi a real good, sensible baseball question. And he said, why don't you ask him how does he catch all pitchers alike on the Yankees now? And he mentioned in particular the contrast between Ford and Johnny Cooks. Would there be a great deal of difference in catching a fastball pitcher and a, a sinker? Well, there is, Ed. Uh, I usually go with the pitcher, like if he's in trouble, I'll go with his best pitch. Uh, that's what I've been noted catching long enough. And uh, like with Whitey Ford, I have to go to his curveball because that's his best pitch. And with Johnny Cooks, his sinker ball is his best pitch. So I go with his sinker ball. You know, I've often wondered, you know, oftentimes you see a baseball game, you're sitting at home and you're watching it, or at this, up at the stadium, you go into the catchers and a crouch, Say there are three men on base, there's one out, there's a real tough hitter at, and the catcher gets up and goes out and walks out to the mound. What do you, what do you talk to him about? Well, there's uh, a lot of people ask me that, and uh, I always tell them this. Uh, I don't go out there to remind the pitcher that he's in trouble. He knows he's in trouble already. <laughs> Out there and said, Let, well, let's go. Let's get this man out. I, I have to make an early movie or I got a date somewhere. <laughs> Just to loosen him up and relieve the tension. That's right. Probably sometimes you'd walk out there to sort of slow him down if you were pitching too quickly and walk out there. Well, you have a pretty good book on the Brooklyn team because most of them have you caught against before. Yes, I have. Uh, I had the, about the same bunch over there. <laughs> well, well, we wish to all of the audience here with Sal Magley luck, and now we're going to wish you luck. How about a very warm hand? <laughs> 